learning to say we're not doing the thing that we are trying. Mm -hmm. We're trying to address what it brings. Okay. Number 10, appointment or reappointment of an emergency management coordinator. Um, Mike, would you like to address that? Um, Start the discussion. <laughs> well, you know, I like putting you on the spot. We right sure away. Did that. Here we go. Um, last week, I believe, we were talking about um, um, filling that position, and um, there have been some concern about having someone to make sure that they can pull all of the different entities together and then come up with um, a plan in the event of an emergency. Uh, I think the one that we have is doing a great job, and uh, so uh, we appreciate what he, he has done, but we thought maybe we might could bring someone else to the table that can help us to be a little bit farther, a little more advanced, and then also that have the energy to be able to work with all the other uh, fire departments, the different cities, the emergency, uh, the ambulance, all of us coming together as a team. In the event we have a tornado that come through Fairfield, come through TIG and Fairfield, that would be uh, devastating to Freestone County if we had a tornado that hit TIG and then hit Fairfield at the same time. How do we handle all of that? And you know, years ago, the courthouse was da severely damaged by a tornado. So it could happen. We don't have them here often, but it surely could happen. I'm but, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. So we, we, uh, I know at one time, money uh, that used to be the fire chief, and you had an uh, interest in trying to do that. So mm -hmm. the judge and um, um, Ms. Bonner, we all got together yesterday and talked. And so, not all at the same time. Not at the same, same time. <laughs> Not at the same time. We'll at different times. And so we wanted money to come today and kind of share and we all kind of discuss and talk about it. Yeah. Is that my turn? Yeah. It's your turn. Well, uh, again, if you don't know me, I might actually. Um, I worked for NRG Energy for 30 years. The last 15 years of that, I worked in basically emergency management, emergency management capacity. So, what I brought to the judge is that we need somebody, and I've talked with the fire departments, talked with the fire association and stuff. We need somebody in more of a, a full-time role as this emergency management position because we can't, there's a, we think there's a lot of money left on the table for one for grants and stuff that, that this county can have, plus just the safety of the citizens of the county. Because if something comes through right now, it's going to be left on the backs of the fire departments themselves. Because we don't have anybody to go to, really. Okay, uh, Mr. Hammonds has done a good job, but he's in it as a as a uh, volunteer time mm -hmm. position. So there's there's a lot of restrictions in that he's that's put on him by doing that. So I think we can benefit the county. We can pull the fire departments together better with the sheriff's department, with all the other entities, the EMSs, the hospitals, and things. There's a lot of stuff out there that I think we don't realize that we're missing out on and that we have opportunity to improve on. A lot of the improvements through, you know, what, how many patients can our hospital handle? What are our communication restrictions if we have a major incident come in? There, there's just a lot of different things that I think we can improve on. And like I say, if we can get some grants in through this, having this position filled, uh, we can, uh, I think we can get some more grants and get some more monies in, possibly to help benefit the county and upgrade everything. And that's pretty much my spiel. At this time, we don't have a position budgeted, but I do, I do think we could um, start off with part time and see what we can add to the position and see um, how it develops. That's something that we can see. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> and if we do, then um, we're hoping that Mr. Hammonds would continue to work with you and sure. to uh, provide the services that he's doing. He has a lot of expertise in a lot of different areas and has been a volunteer in this county for many years and, and we've been fortunate to have him willing to help us. The court has to appoint the um, emergency management coordinator. That's, that's the court's decision. Well, uh, if, if you want to say anything? 
I'll make a motion. Well, you make a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion there. We'll but we, uh, are we going to have two now? No, he'll just assist. Mr. Hammond then okay. just will assist as a volunteer. Okay. And he, but, he knows it. Not exactly, but I've talked to him before about if he would want to do this part time. He said no, that he did not want to be paid, but he would be a volunteer.
Thank you. All in favor, rise.